वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस let us continue to watch our today's video so friends uh, i have been receiving uh, comments to create some videos on hrsg and uh, here we are uh, starting a series for hrsg videos and we are starting with a very basic video on basic features function why we need hrsg Uh, so that is why we are starting uh, very basic so that many of you uh, who are already knowing this but many uh, person will be like this they don't know much so we are starting with the very basic thing so here you can see a combined cycle uh, not combined cycle uh, it is a gas turbine uh, uh, and hrs this setup where you see here is the uh, gas turbine uh, part uh this part will be gas turbine uh, turbine part this is uh, your inlet air filter house uh, which is putting the air inside the turbine there is a combustion and then you have your uh, ex uh, this uh, damper area where there will be a damper which if you close on this side there will be no gases going to hrsg and all that goes uh, here in the atmosphere so if gas turbine generate power take air Uh, combustion and put the exhaust here so that is open cycle uh, uh, gas turbine operation which is a very high on cost very low on efficiency but uh, there is another thing that this damper if you close on this side so your uh, uh, hot gases are not going in the open cycle or bypass chimney the flue gas entire flue gas is going your uh, towards uh, hrsg and you have your uh, lot of uh, uh, superheater panels evaporator economizer all that here which can exchange heat from uh, hrsg sorry hot gases and generate steam so this is how the entire uh, gt hrsg setup looks like let us understand in detail in next uh, slides yeah so let us understand the uh, basic uh, details for uh, hrsg so here on the right side what you are seeing is a image from hrsg physical installation and uh, uh, this this particular large area uh, which we can say is hrsg and the flue gas is getting into this uh, chimney and uh, hot gases are coming from gas turbine so if you see there is a short i mean uh, low cross section here and here the cross section is very high so there may be some question that why uh, this uh, sort of arrangement is there so you uh, i mean the explanation is like that uh, the gt uh, exhaust uh, gases uh, which are having a high uh, temperature and uh, high uh, volume of uh, gas coming uh, from gt so if you have to utilize the maximum heat from the gases which are coming from uh, gas turbine so what you have to do you have to increase the surface area so to increase the surface area you have uh, this cross section increased otherwise you have to have a lot of uh, this kind of uh, very large in uh, length as well so to uh, to gain the heat otherwise the flow of uh, gt gases would be high and uh, with uh, retention time will be low and then you have to put lot of in series there will be lot of panels to gain the uh, heat uh, required so that is why this uh, uh, cross section uh, size is increased here this will increase the surface area uh, reduce the 
velocity of flue gas so that retention time is more and you have high heat transfer another point of high heat transfer uh, is what is uh, one feature is there uh, if you see any auxiliary boiler uh, tubes those are bare tubes generally but in case of hrsg the tubes will be having fins on uh, the tube outer surface so that uh, this will help in capturing additional heat and transferring into the water which is flowing inside the tubes so this is also one thing in uh, hrsg and on the left side if you see this is a very simplistic representation of uh, hrsg uh, however the number of panels will be in, uh, very high in uh, real installation but here is this image is to explain uh, the high temperature area is this high temperature and uh, uh, the exit is uh, low temperature which is going into the stack so what uh, which part of boiler or hrsg will be uh, producing the highest temperature of steam is superheater only the so superheater or high temperature uh, segments will be there in this side in the high temperature side and uh, the cold section like uh, uh, boiler feed water which is coming into the hrsg area from economizer so this will be your in the relatively colder uh, section so this is how your uh, heat transfer uh, takes place uh, yeah another important point if you see is uh, your uh, uh, there is a screen screen or grid also you can say uh, please excuse me for my poor drawing there will be a lot of uh, small perforation in a screen so that whatever is coming from your hr gt gets a uniform distribution uniform distribution okay and after that uh, you will have uh, your uh, duct burners so those duct burners will uh, uh, many in hrsg may have supplementary firing may many may not so those who have supplementary firing where you have your duct burners inside the uh, this uh, uh, duct and those will be putting flames in 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 line with the whatever exhaust gases coming from uh, gas turbine these are kind of uh, burners which help or which can augment the steam generation capacity or the steam outlet temperatures in hrsg so this is how a basic uh, hrsg systems are there if you have any question you can ask me in comment section anyway we are going to create a, a detailed video on uh, many components of hrsg where we will cover uh, the more finer details so we can see uh, as we saw in the last slide uh, the main component uh, uh, for HRSG may be starting from uh, CPH, which is uh, uh, coil preheater, and uh, there is a deaerator here. So many installation have this CPH and deaerator uh, kind of equipment here. Many installation may have a CPH here, but there will be a common deaerator uh, which is located at the centralized uh, area and uh, it feeds to many different uh, boiler or hrsg hrsg1 hrsg2 uh, hrsg so on so uh, here we have seen it uh, inside a particular hrsg but sometime there may be other uh, installation types also and then you have uh, evaporator and uh, superheater and other uh, equipment uh, sorry panels uh, in place so uh, the the flue gas temperature will be highest highest at uh, this end because uh, coming from gt and uh, you have a cp which is normally a stainless steel uh, uh, component because here the temperature will be very low 
and uh, you may have some sort of corrosion at this place so you have your stainless steel component to minimize those and from here uh, your uh, flue gas is going into chimney or exhaust so this is how a typical uh, hrsg uh, setup is there uh, the uh, what we can say the uh, main component if we talk about uh, the casing and the enclosure because uh, the enclosure will be very large uh, uh, steel duct plate installation where there will be inside there will be very large uh, pyro blocks are there which keeps on uh, retaining the heat and uh, you have to inspect uh, those pyro blocks or uh, insulation material in every shutdown to check whether there is any loss in that or not and another point is that uh, let's say there is uh, some gaps in this pyro block setup then here you will see the high temperature from the outside of the boiler where paint uh, being burned off or uh, you will see red hot surface area so that is also uh, one thing which you can check and then uh, these heat transfer areas like superheater reheater and uh, economizer are there which uh, are main component of uh, hrsg and then uh, hrsg main function is to generate steam and most importantly minimize the heat which is going into the atmosphere as a waste let's say there is no hrsg and many plants are running in uh, that way also like uh, gas turbine and uh, here is the gt and after that gt there is a exhaust so that exhaust put all that air hot air into the atmosphere which uh, may have your 600 to 635 or 650 sometimes degree celsius temperature which carries a lot of heat so uh, this is an open cycle operation where uh, you know the heat is going into air but uh, uh, if you have hrsg you can uh, shut this open uh, uh, bypass stack by the damper uh, and uh, this damper can be opened toward HRSG and you can utilize the heat which is getting wasted into the atmosphere here the this will uh, save a lot of uh, carbon emission as well and uh, one thing which is not shown here uh, that I will explain in our uh, next video is that SCR uh, the selective catalytic uh, uh, reaction thing where you reduce your NOx and all that so that is also there in some places in a large uh, GTHRSG setup so we will have a video on this in this uh, image that is not shown and uh, ultimately it uh, uh, generate a lot of uh, high pressure steam which can be used to drive the steam turbine and generate power so that gives a lot of advantage over open cycle uh, gas turbine power plant where you don't uh, get that heat benefit uh, in terms of steam and ultimately getting convert, uh, converted the steam into steam turbine yeah so these are the basic functions and uh, benefits uh, how hrsc uh, works so what is the benefit uh, so benefit is like uh, what I talked about in the previous slide that uh, if you only use a gas turbine uh, setup which is only this part if you use only this part of the setup where you take air from uh, inlet filter house you put it on turbine and generate power and then you waste uh, exhaust the gas into the atmosphere this will be a very low efficiency uh, uh, system but when you uh, close here there is a damper diverter damper or guillotine gate is there when you uh, uh, open the damper uh, uh, and close this bypass duct so entire gas will pass through your hrsg and here you will be able to generate steam so ultimately the same in the same amount of fuel you are getting steam as well so your thermal efficiency is high and if you increase the efficiency your emissions definitely are going to be reduced and uh, you have uh, your hrsg as a heat exchanger you can put some uh, uh, panels here in the end and you can uh, use those uh, panel as a hot water generator also 
and you can use that hot water in any uh, your uh, process industry fin tubes like i uh, spoke about uh, fin tubes in uh, uh, i guess uh, two minutes ago so just to compare and thought of that uh, these are the fin tubes where you have high surface area versus this uh, so the surface area for this tube will be for one section if we cut across this pi square h into l that will be the surface area for bare tubes although uh, if you compare that 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 surface area is uh, for this tube as well but uh, these are the additional surface area components which you can count upon heat transfer so that is also one thing in hrsg and then scr scr reduces the nox emission uh, with some uh, uh, chemical uh, injection so that also improve you on your emission parts so these are the basic benefit which hrsg offers into a combined cycle power plant if you compare with the open cycle uh, gas turbine power plant and uh, in subsequent videos we are going to cover the details uh, for scr or uh, how the fin tubes are uh, uh, giving benefits how what is the efficiency for open cycle how uh, benefit uh, how much benefit you can get when you convert into combined cycle like addition of hrsg and stg so these are uh, things which we are going to cover in our next video so thank you for uh, watching uh, our channel uh, you can uh, subscribe the channel if you like the content and uh, you can ask any question in the comment section and we also run a membership uh, program where you can join our channel and ask a question and we will reply to those question on priority we will try to cover uh, your question and create videos also on that thank you for a uh, lot of support uh, and uh, thanks uh, for everything thank you